Hey, I'm Sweeney, otherwise known as The Hog. I manage a band called Toddy. Tour manage slash guitar tech slash production manager band called Hockey Dad and a production manager for Yours and Ours in Wollongong. Pre-COVID, my life was pretty chaotic, but in the best way possible. There was lots of travel, lots of rock, lots of shows, lots of people, lots of fun, lots of hard work, but lots of smiles as well. Lots of horns. <laughs> Tuesday to Thursday would be in the office planning something big and exciting for yours and ours. Then generally Fridays would be a drive to the airport, a couple of shows around the country. Life since COVID has been much quieter. I don't want to be too much of a sad sap and say that we've just sitting around doing nothing because that's not entirely true. Like we're always working on something cool and exciting, but it just feels like the cool and exciting payoff is always so far away. I can't turn up guitar amps as loud as I want to in a post-COVID world, unfortunately. That breaks my heart. <laughs> Living in Wollongong now is awesome because it feels like people are making it up as they go and they're somehow getting it right all the time. And that's super cool and exciting. I think the most important thing for me in terms of staying positive and motivated is making sure you've still got some kind of purpose. It's having to shift the focus from being at a show in front of lots of people to planning behind the scenes for when that can happen. So still like seeing the end goal. I'm lucky enough that we still have a festival in January with the Yours and Ours Festival. So I can still be planning towards that and still working hard on, you know, something for the future. I think it was Bernard Fenning we saw walk across the road and come back with no shoes on because he just had a big walk along the beach, which yeah. is like an amazing thing to do. That's how you want to finish each set. Yeah. I think everyone knows that we need live music. That's a huge void that can't be filled with anything else. And so I'm, I'm optimistic about it because I don't think we can just let it disappear. Nothing's better than the feeling of a kick drum. You don't get that from a live stream. You don't get the thud of a subwoofer. <laughs> you want a sub to shake your insides. I think any initiative that's pushing artists onto the stage and giving venues the chance to operate properly and support the live music industry is an awesome initiative. This is doing exactly that. This is pushing people onto stages, which is giving crews work, which is giving bars income, which is giving bands purpose. That's awesome.